Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am in a small town called Catherine in Northern Territory, Australia. Speedway racing competitions are arranged by National Association of Speedway Racing in Catherine this weekend and I am at the race horse to watch few races tonight. I am going to film this event and in this video you guys can watch that and enjoy. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's start this video. Australian Speedway was started in 1926 and it was first started only for motorbikes. It is believed that the first title winner of the national level race was an American. In 1997, the Federation of Australian Speedway and World Series Sprint Cars united to form NASR. In 2006, National Association of Speedway Racing, which is commonly called as NASR, was recognized as the controlling body of speedway racing in Australia, becoming the first speedway body anywhere to achieve FIA delegation of authority. Alright guys, it is nearly 9 o'clock now. The races have been started already and they are going on. You can see there are a considerable amount of people here to watch the racers. Look at this gentleman. He dressed very fancy and let's ask him a few questions. Uh, what was your name? Michael. Michael, okay. Okay, Michael, tell me, tell me about the race. How often this happens? Um, once a month down here we come down. All right, once a month. Yeah. All right. So, so this is Australia wide and association or something yeah. like that, isn't it? Yeah, they race Australia wide. Oh, okay, um, so. We've got a lot of cars that aren't here tonight. They're yep. over in Broome racing. Yeah. Oh, in Broome. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how many car types are here? Oh, how many different types of car? Yep. Yeah. We run about eight different classes down here. Eight different classes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Can Can you please say some examples? Classes. Yep, run, please. Um, yeah. The juniors that have just finished, yep. the go karts, NP sedans, yep. street stocks, okay. uh, Formula 500, yep. wingless, the solo bikes. Uh, how, do you, how do you call this this car? Yeah. This yeah. one? Go kart. Go kart. Go -kart. Oh. Yep. But in the car and driving and what you go kart and all right. All right, no worries. Thank, Thank you very you. much. No all right, guys. I hope you guys would have got some information about this race from Michael. This happens every fortnight during dry season in Catherine, Northern Territory, and there are different kind of cars participate in each competition. Look at there, guys. That is the entrance to the race horse. There are already a couple of motorcycles on track, and I reckon this competition is for motorbikes. You would have seen the color of the lights, they are changed to green from red. That is the signal to start the race. And these guys are already started their race now. It feels like they are riding the bike somewhere and the sound is coming from somewhere else, guys. I hope you two feel the same. I would say it takes a lot of practice and keeping your balance to race on loops like this. They would have done years and years of practice and developed these skills. There is a fair amount of gap between both now guys. Let's see who is going to finish first. Following the motorcycle race, now the race between go-karts started, guys. I reckon this might be for the kids and they have already started riding in full speed. Wearing riding safety gears are very important while you are doing races like this. And I hope these guys are wearing them and protecting themselves. Now the gap is increasing guys. The one on the front is leading by a fair distance.
The first one is leading well, and I reckon he is going to win this one. You can see there is a huge going to the track after every race and they fix the track if there are any issues and get ready for the next race. I would say there are also essential services like ambulance, fire services and police available here in case of any emergencies. You can also see a trailer truck available there. It is to carry any cars which met with an accident or damage during the races. I would say the next race is going to start shortly guys. You can see few kids are playing around here. I reckon they are having a running competition. Alright guys, let's walk around and see what else we can see here. And we can watch the next race from a different spot. You can see there is a bin separately to dispose beer cans and bottles. It's a good thing guys. You can see a beverage shop here guys. This stall is organized by Catherine Game Fishing Club they are selling soft drinks, beers and some alcohol items. So, so what do you have? Oh, I know what it's, I'll just uh, go with the Coca-Cola. Coke? Yeah, Coke please. Yeah. I'm going to have this Coke guys. Cheers. You can also see another food stall here guys. They sell some food items and snacks. The next race is about to start guys. Let's have a look at this one. The cars will be just going around the track normally when the yellow light is on and when it turns to green, they race and compete. Now it changed to green guys. You can see they are going to accelerate and race. participating in this race are sedan type and the name of this race is called as sedan NG. The sound from these racing cars is too loud but it is amazing guys. Look at the one who is going with the flag. He is the winner of this race guys. Look at him, he is doing some fun activities guys. That race is finished now. You can see how much of dust created from the last race. It is too much. The next race started guys. You can watch that now. I would say there are around 10 to 15 races happening today. You can see these cars are having iron bars inside and they give some extra protection to the driver during collision or accidents. You can see a stadium there guys. 
all the announcements and commentaries are being done from there only and you can see a guy with a flag there he is the referee for the races happening today Alright guys, this race has finished and they have announced the winner too. Air and country plumbing, pitch lubricant. You're being very responsible. The referee is going to hand over the flag to the winner and he is going to come around the track and celebrate his win. You're being very responsible. You can see all the cars participating in the races are parked here guys. From here only they come to the track and participate in the races. Unfortunately we can't access inside due to security reasons. The cars will come along that path which is having tires installed on both sides and come to the track to race. Now another couple of motorbikes are racing in the track guys. The way they are turning in the curves looks amazing. You can see there is a lot of dust racing because of bike drifts. This is another race guys. This type of cars are called as wingless sprint cars. I reckon kids are participating in this race and they are doing very well. Now another type of race is going to begin guys. This model looks like wingless cars having a roof on the top. Guys look at this. Two cars were spun the other way around so the race is stopped for a while. Alright one car is sorted now. Let's see what's going to happen to the other one. I reckon his car is giving him some trouble and they are pushing it to get started and keep going. Alright guys, the race is resumed now. Alright guys, the race has finished now. You can see that is the place to park all the cars and when you see this side you can see few people having some fire and doing camping there. Alright guys we are going to wrap up now but before that I will tell you something. There was an accident happened earlier today guys. I couldn't film that properly but I have a small video clip and you can watch that now.
all right guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon i will see you all in another beautiful video till then thanks for watching and cheers